Sorry. See what I have to live with here. So ordinarily, Lindsay only gets excited about two things. Garlic bread. And garlic bread, basically. But today, we're picking up a new car. Or well, Lindsay's picking up a new car. I'm gonna stay at home because I've got to work. But um. Hurry up. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a few weeks ago we went car shopping. Uh, Lynn's picked out a Range Rover that she wanted, and I said no. Because you're mean. Uh, but but you know what women are like. I use they, my they, they always get their way in the end. They always get their way in the end. So she's about to go pick it up now. Um, and as soon as she gets back, I'm gonna show you around it. I feel very monochromatic today. Got like a weird black and white vibe going on. By the way, Giant Bone Apparel, get your hats right now. Discount code in the description box. <laughs> Anyways, it's time for the monthly Facebook q and I'm gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna have some more structure on this channel. So the last week of every month, I'm gonna do a live Facebook q and and the first week of every month, I'm gonna do a live YouTube q and I'm gonna do my first one ever at some point, probably this month, this coming month, August. But let's see what kind of hijinks we can get up to today, see what people wanna ask me. We are live. Always get excited for the first few minutes of a live Q&A. Uh, how's the wedding planning going? Shut up. Uh, when you come into Ireland, says Nicole Sutcliffe, uh, I would love to make it over to Ireland um, at some point. Uh, I'm not sure when. It's like my motherland. I'm, like, my heritage is Irish. I've never been though. So. Favorite food related YouTube channels? Uh, Wayne Alhenio, Nathan Figueroa, Darren Breeden, uh, Dan Killer Kennedy with the Carbo Cutie. Those are all freaking awesome channels. Uh, Zermatt Neo, he has a cool channel, he's from Singapore. Have you recovered from your cheat day, says Tim Tre uh, Trevisus. Uh, which one? The last one on my birthday? <laughs> yeah. What, 10,000 calories, man? Child's Play. Neil Humphrey, kiss me where it smells funny. Weird, dude. Weird. Kelly Pointer, love all your videos and love how you have a sweet after all your meals to finish it off. Got to, Kelly, man, you can't. You can't finish on savoury. Just can't. What's the worst food you've gotten in your beard? I got a carrot stuck in there for 48 hours. Found it two days after I'd last eaten carrot. That was weird. Mark Little, how do you stay in shape? Exercise and calorie control, brother. Just don't eat like an idiot all the time and exercise a lot. Uh, Phil Stanner, keep up your hard work. Love watching your YouTube channel. Here's to 1 million subs. Baby steps. Baby steps, Phil. Um, I'm really, I'm really, really, really excited about... I don't want to jinx it. My people might start unsubscribing, but... I'm really excited about hitting 100,000 subscribers, um, fingers crossed, because I want to get my silver play button. That was the only goal I set myself when I started this whole journey. Um, and also, and also, that makes no sense. Also, uh, I'll have some pretty freaking awesome planned for that video when I hit 100,000. Ever thought about doing a fried rice challenge? I'm assuming, Brian, that you are a Matt Stoney fan and you just watched his fried rice video. Or oh, it could be total coincidence. But uh, yeah, I suppose, could do. It's a bit boring, that's the only thing. Like my, my, my videos, I try to make them like, I don't know, have some more variety to them. But yeah, I, I could do it. It'd be cool for like capacity uh, to test it, just to do like one one thing. Yeah, maybe. Tell my wife her be beard is better than yours, mate. Steven Johnson, can I say that to your wife? Steven Johnson's wife, your beard's better than mine. <laughs> uh, Andy Lee Lomas, who is your favorite Competitive eater of all time, Pat Deep Dish Bertoletti, legend. Met him in 2015. He's just nuts. Um, uh, he's, I think he's kind of sim I think he's pretty much retired though. He still competes now and then. Uh, have any celebs asked to do a challenge with you? Celebs? No. That's a shame though. I'll leave all that stuff to Kate Ovens. She, <laughs> she gets all the celeb stuff. Oh man, like, all the questions have stopped now, and I know I missed a bunch of really, really good ones. Uh, who's your favorite superhero? Oh man, that's changed over the years. I would say it used to be Spider-Man when I was a kid. You know, wisecracking, a little bit like me. 
bit of a nerd, not very big, bit, bit of a little dude. Um, I think over the years it's morphed into Batman now. He's much grittier, especially when he's written by like Frank Miller or... Um, uh, Mark Stewart, do you have a favourite band musician at the moment? Yeah, at the moment my favourite band is a band called Eskimo Cowboy, which I will warn you now before you Google them. They're not for everyone. It's like German electronica party metal. That's the only thing I can explain it as. <laughs> Uh, probably my favourite band of all time is maybe like Death Cab for Cutie, I used to really love them when I was younger, Bright Eyes, um, uh, Blink-182 when I was really young, I just like punk and metal stuff like that. Uh, uh, Sana Sefron, can you do more videos where you cook and assemble your own meals? Uh, yeah, if enough people want to see it, the last one was a bit poverty on my barbecue outside, but yeah sure. Uh, when was the last time you didn't have a beard? There's a photograph on Instagram, probably when I was like 23. But I always used to have like 5 o'clock shadow, always had stubble. Richard Barrow, Michael Keaton was the best Batman. Joker. Just, not, not the Joker, I'm just saying you're a Joker. <laughs> I disagree. Balls or chin? That's a weird 50-50. I'm gonna say chin. Favourite fast food? Five Guys. Piece of cake. Not a piece of cake from Five Guys, I'm just saying the question was a piece of cake. <laughs> Five Guys is my favourite. <laughs> Hernando Cardenas, do a burrito eat off with Furious Pete. I'm not being funny, Hernando, but I don't think Furious Pete would be in a rush to collaborate with me. <laughs> I, plus, I think he's pretty much retired now. Oh, what smells worse, my balls or my chin? Chin, totally. Have you got a cut-off point for beard size, says Ben Lum? Nope. Uh, I want to grow it until I can stand on it, basically. Wayne Alhadio, why you keep asking my questions, you damn wazak? I've been teaching the Americans some English swear words. Wazak is an old one, that's like a 1970s Yorkshire word. <laughs> Before you obviously met the Mrs. Beard, were you having trouble getting with the ladies, having the face fungus, or not? No, I mean, I was never the most prolific of um, players or anything. <laughs> Mostly because I was always... Like, too drunk, too early in the night to ever impress girls, but um, I did alright. Uh, Jenna Michelle, how long have you and Lindsay been together? Nearly six years. <laughs> Eric, oh sorry, I keep saying it, Erin Bon Bon Bonner. You're my favourite YouTuber, Syndicate and Eric the Electric, my second and third. You ever met them? Uh, thanks Erin, thank you for saying that, I really appreciate that. Um, Syndicate, I have no idea what that is. Uh, Eric the Electric... Um, yeah, I met him at Battle of Big Eaters last year. Um, I don't know though, I don't, you, you've either got to pick Beard Meets Food or the Electric, you can't be but you can't be one team. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Emma Godbold, how do you feel about becoming a YouTube pin-up? Nobody's pinning this up in their room. <laughs> I need some of this. This is a cup that I, I use for all my eating challenges. Well, not all of them, but my most recent ones. And I, I counted about eight comments in the past couple of days. People saying I cheat because I'm spitting food back into the cup. <laughs> I don't know, some people. I don't want to get into the mechanics, really, of competitive eating, but if you drink with... Oh, God damn it. Babe, I'm doing a live Q&A. Can you call me back? <laughs> So it was a little bit dark last night when Lynn's finally got back. Um, so I figured I'd wait until this morning to show you around the car. And before anyone says, oh, you're wasting all your YouTube bucks, it's nothing to do with that. I'm not earning enough yet to buy a Range Rover, believe me. But um, this is all due to Lindsay's hard work, so. It is a very cool car to film in though. Lots of space, my arm's like fully extended now with my, with my tripod, so. It is a neat car. Anywho, depending on how frequently you watch the channel, you might know that it was my birthday a few weeks ago. I did um, like a cheat day, just a little one, so go watch that if you haven't already. Did you ever get the feeling that you haven't made the most of something? Luckily, Casper's dessert 
restaurant invited me down to try their birthday Sunday, which is supposed to serve like eight people. So that's what we're doing today. Should be a lot of fun. Not for you though, you're going to work. Ha! So Casper's is like, uh, kind of a gelato house. You get ice cream there. You could get like waffles and cakes and stuff there. Uh, but what we're gonna eat today is their birthday extravaganza Sunday. So that's where we are now. Just walking in. I saw on the website it's supposed to serve like eight people. Eight people, yeah. So this is what birthday parties usually order. So then we've got a big group of people. What's happening beard on me today? I'm at Casper's. They've got locations all over the country. This is the birthday extravaganza Sunday, which is supposed to serve eight people. Um, but uh, Casper's invited me down today to try and eat this all to myself. Apparently nobody's ever done that before. Um, so I'd love to be the first. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different flavors in there. It's got like sprinkles, cream, waffles, whatever the heck these things are, I don't know what you call them. It's like 10 a.m. Um, I've never had ice cream for breakfast before, but the first time for everything, right? So this is Big Mix Food, and this is Casper's birthday extravaganza Sunday challenge. Let's go! Pro tip if you're gonna eat this much ice cream, it's never as fun as it looks like it's gonna be. Um, so get some black coffee on hand, and I'll help you get through everything. Anyway, I'm hungry. The spoon is too small, but we're gonna do what we can. <laughs> right, we're gonna start the timer just for fun. I don't have my counter with me today, but without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna need more coffee. This is bigger than it looked on the pictures. They suckered me into this one. It's just hard when you have sensitive teeth like me. 15 big old scoops of ice cream, a bunch of cream, waffles, wafers, that's what they're called. Uh, sprinkles and sauce at 10 a.m. Let me tell you, it is not a good idea. Most people would have the common sense to know that though. Oh, I'm getting a headache. This thing is never ended. It's like that apple pie from the Costco challenge. I just asked them for a bunch of different flavors, but I've mushed this all together so much now that it really just tastes like <laughs> sugar. I'm glad I got the coffee. My tactic is to take all the ice cream first, or as much of it as possible, before moving on to the waffles and biscuits and stuff. I feel cold. I'm glad I wore a sweater today. Yeah, lots of people have asked me to do Casper's, um, and they, there didn't used to be uh, a joint uh, kind of within traveling distance, but they just opened a new one. Um, so I swung by today and uh, tried out the birthday extravaganza Sunday, which is crazy. These waffles are really, really good. The waffles were totally delicious though. They had kind of almost a salty taste to them, sweet and salty, which you know I love. 
Um, so they were very easy to eat. I feel like I could have eaten those things all day. Uh, the ice cream was good too. Everything was good. Um, the only thing with it was, it, which is my fault really, I should have enjoyed like each scoop separately, but I just kind of mushed them all together in the end. Oh. That piece of ice cream tasted like minus 40 degrees. That was really cold. And uh, I apologize, I forgot to show my phone at the end. Uh, with the final time on there, but I think it took me like 16 minutes, 20 or something like that. But I mean, I wasn't trying to rush it or anything. Uh, just a bit of a laugh, so hope you enjoyed it. Oh man, eating that much ice cream is never, never fun, but that was as fun as it could be. Oh man. My beard is such a mess. Man, I'm so cold right now. I just wanna go jump in like a warm bath or a sauna or something. It was delicious though. Thank you so much. I'm gonna come back and do two. Yup, I'm definitely gonna make it back to Casper's for like a, a crazy dessert banquet sometime. But uh, thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you at the next video.